Before the installation of your VTS Volcano unit, please review your local building codes regarding safety and electrical regulations. It's also important to follow all the directions in the installation and operation manual that comes inside the box of the volcano or online at vtsgroup.com forward slash us forward slash volcano. Volcano Heating Unit Installation Overview Prior to unboxing your volcano, make sure you don't notice any external damage. It's best to use a cardboard cutter to open the box, since you'll be using part of the box during installation. The manual will be on top. Take a moment to ensure all the pieces are in good shape as you take them out of the box. If you purchased any extra accessories for the unit, they will be shipped separately. The drilling template is located on the box flap. Cut that off and use a leveler to properly position where you will mount the unit. Be sure the wall surface can support the unit. The user manual illustrates the ideal ways to position and space your volcano unit to achieve the most efficient heat coverage for your room. Using a half inch drill bit, find the circular indentation on the top and bottom of the unit and drill holes. This will permit you to insert the sleeves into the unit. The electrical box is housed on the back of the unit. Remove the cover by unscrewing the four screws. Follow the electrical diagram in the manual to connect your power supply and your controller. Mount the support bracket to the wall and fasten it using the provided screws, washers, and nuts. It's best to have two people mount the unit onto the support bracket. Tighten the volcano to the support bracket using the provided bolts. While connecting the power and control to the terminal blocks in the volcano unit, make sure to follow the instructions in the user manual which covers all the available features and options. Volcano units can be used almost anywhere, but no matter where you've set yours up, it should now be ready to power on.